a time to walk uh, to the middle on your debut. Yeah, I just want to ask you the question. If you look the line and the lens that Jarvis bowled this morning, in your pitch report you spoke about tennis ball bounce and all, knowing that it would be slower than what the last week it was because of the rain and two and a half days of rain. Still, we found that the lens that the guys bowled this morning wasn't... Uh, they weren't getting it in the, in the right areas. No, the lengths were very poor by Zimbabwe. Carl Jarvis in particular struggled this morning. Oh, so uh, two good balls to start. He's just walked down the wicket and picked it up for him. Nice little smile uh, on his face. This morning him getting his caps. A proud moment for uh, Zahir Man. He's uh, making his test debut. Congratulated by his team. And there he is, his... Uh, baggy green that he will now uh, keep with pride and uh, I'm sure he was hoping that this wasn't how he was going to make his debut having to come and bat for uh, eight and a half overs who are uh, very neat and meticulous about uh, their kit and their preparation and Zia looks like the kind of guy that just stuffs everything into the back of the kit bag and then pulls it out the next morning he looks very strong as well I mean looking at him at warm-up today big shoulders up goes the finger he struck it was very full and brendan taylor is on his way and i have to say i don't think he could have too much doubt about that it was very very full indeed and angled back in you'd have been disappointed if that had been given out if uh, you were the bowler or given not out and so brendan taylor's series ends on a, a down but it did look very out of <laughs> Mushfakir. He's he is not gonna take no for an answer. So Brendan Taylor goes for ten from forty three, Zimbabwe ninety six for three. To win the second Teletalk three G test match here at Arari Sports Club. The tall order. Defenses, the end of Waller, fourth wicket down, and Zimbabwe are now in all sorts of trouble as Bangladesh closes in. 118 for four. His feet really just haven't moved there, Jeremy. It's not a delivery that's done all that much Malcolm Waller is dismissed for 15 Zimbabwe in trouble 118 for 4 and as I put the mockers on him the big drive came from Richard Butumbami he didn't get across to it a big inside edge and onto the middle stump and Zayo Rahman has struck another blow for Bangladesh. They're creeping closer to that victory. Wide half volley. He's not quite across to it. And a big inside edge back onto the middle stump. Delight for the fast bowler. And Richard Mutumbami goes for 12. Zimbabwe 200 for 7. One good thing that Zahir Aman does do is uh, he's pretty accurate in the sense that he will make Krima play. And all he's waiting for is a little bit of movement like that. And uh, Nasser Hussein takes a good catch. Graham Cream is on his way. Zimbabwe eight down and uh, staring down the barrel. Dirk, you had mentioned swing. There's a little bit there. Drawing Graham Creamer into the shot. A good catch at first slip. Bangladesh now not far away. Two more wickets. Graham Creamer gone for three. Zimbabwe 214 for eight.